All right, welcome back to No Garage. This week we're gonna finish Kevo off and blow it up on the dyno. It's gonna happen. All right, so what we're gonna do initially is upgrade the fuel system. Kevin used to have six, 700cc injectors in it and yep. 1044 pump, which was all right for what he was making before, but Goldie sent us some 1700cc full height wash injectors with the same connector. And I've cut the fuel pump apart and I'll show you what I'm doing with that. Not the fuel pump, the fuel tank. The fuel tank, yeah. Same area. You don't cut the fuel pump. So the fuel tank originally had an 044 bolted here. I could have put two side by side, but the second pump I had is from an unknown origin and no doubt it would be stuffed. This pump is the one that I tried to put in the K10, but these things actually run the fuel through the body of the motor to cool it. And someone's been a little bit heavy on the actual power screws and there's a little plastic retainer in there and an O-ring and it's broken. So, it more. so it weeps. So I figured I've seen these submerged in a tank before and if it leaks in there it doesn't really matter so I cut the side out and I'm going to weld this to that there's going to be an o hose in there that's going to be welded on the other side so I've <coughs> used an industry standard fashion technique to run the wires through where the original fuel level sender was actually I might upgrade the size of these wires they're a little bit light on now I think about it so this tank is 10 litres, minus 1.2-ish litres, which means we've got roughly 8.8 .8 litres of fuel. And I think this thing at wide open throttle will use 10 litres per minute. The engine won't do 10 litres per minute no. at wide open throttle because it'll be dead in 15. <laughs> so we should be good. So I was going to weld this together this morning, but Dave used all my gas. Oh yeah. Don't be a Dave. Good on Dave. All right, injectory stuff. How good are all these stickers? I reckon he's got his, got his point across there. Or... <laughs> <laughs> hey Dane, if, if the rods come out, guess what we're going to focus on in the fissure? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've got a powered version of this. I'll give us that one for a minute. So in the castle, does, does Wayne ever end up getting out of jail? I think so, I can't remember. I haven't watched it for years. I can make it to the end there. <laughs> Have you ever seen the end of any movie? <laughs> Sometimes they run out of burden. Where's the washer? They went through the exhaust valve. 10 millimetre. Three eighths. Yeah, no, the rocker cover, the cam covers are, rocker covers, whatever it is on this engine. They're three eighths, because Murica. Next door neighbours, man. Slow anyway. I just told them if they take it to the thing in November, I'll give them that turbo that I won. What drag challenge thing in November? Road trip drag challenge thing. Are you even going to it? Yeah, I was going to take the van. Have you entered? No. It seems like a problem. Why is it a problem? It's in six months time. Vlogging. Vlogging camera. And then, and then, off. Yeah. I guess we're going to find out if a Dash 6 supply line is adequate for... What was that? It didn't get in the manifold, so it's a better than last one. <laughs> I don't think anything went down the manifold. This has got a, like a screensaver thing on it, right? Yeah, I made the this front one stay on so that you can still see you in selfie mode, you know, being an influencer. So you're all about so long as you can see I needed yourself. to be, make sure that I didn't look like a dickhead. I pretty much look like a dickhead all the time. You anyway. have to unplug, unplug your injectors, mate. No retainers, eh? That one does. I don't like this GoPro y thing. I don't know if I'm a. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm looking at. You just failing to embrace the change. Touch it. It's a touch screen. Ooh. You happy now? 
<laughs> not really. <laughs> Touch it. Ooh. Maybe I should use my bench. I can't believe I've got no screwdrivers. If only there was some way to put them. Yeah. Finally. Are you just throwing them everywhere? Oi. I was going to do it with finesse. Where are they? I thought we were all about efficiency here. Was it, this, isn't this what I was told this once? Is, this is why we're No, about. we're about efficiency here, we're not about fucking about. This is, Get your shit together, hurry up. This is why shit was down the fucking intake manifold. There was nothing in the intake manifold. This looks like not being very efficient. Come on, chop chop. It's the hardest injector swap ever. <laughs> <laughs> This is really hard to do with this stupid selfie stick. Go Golbies. It's a bolt in. Something's gonna f up. Hang on. <laughs> bolt in parts that bolt in don't exist. Yeah, it's we a load trap. this with mighty car mods. It's a trap. <laughs> Send it in dry. See how they like it. Oh. New, new retainers. New retainers. We use, <laughs> we use the old ones. He's just showing off that he has them in stock. <laughs> what are these little? Oh, it's got little filter things in there. Yeah, don't use them. Little filter baskety things. You're not going to use them? No. That's Kevo. There's no time for that. Sorry, Kevo. You suck, mate. No good stuff for the Kevo. What's with Golby and the Euro stuff? Oh, I don't know, he's weird. Well, I'm assuming those, those things seal. I hope so. Where's the jigger? Sacrifice some of those retaining clips from those other ones. Eh? I don't love the selfie thing. You're going down selfie thing. Selfie vlog stuff. He loves it. <coughs> no, not Sorry, selfie stick. It. Mm. It's okay. Remember your parcel shelf thing thing that you're going on about? Okay. Don't pick up my parcel like, shelf thing. It's like that with my GoPros. That feels so much better. <coughs> Positive retainment. What are we talking about? I've got, I've got retaining clips on the injectors so that they don't fall off. Oh. And we lose we need the, another two on this side. The carnage. So carnage in the show or carnage as in destruction? It's about the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Kevo, you sick bastard. Kevo, he's got to be sick. Kevo, he's a sicko. Kevo, he's got no vacuum hose. All right. The vlog, vlog section. What? what are we doing now? We're vlogging. I'm just gonna overkill supply the fuel pumps because this is the only wire I've got. It's massive. Jesus. I don't know how to do v vlogging. You're a vlogger. <laughs> We're gonna have Chris's around Australia freaking. Was it? Around Australia, kicking people's asses vlog. So there's, a, there's a long list. <laughs> was, there, was there a guy that wanted to kick our ass on the... Because we talk about Scotty. 
There was. We actually like Scotty. Scotty's actually we're just, cool. We're just trying to get a reaction out of him, but he doesn't, he doesn't bite. <laughs> we actually just pick on everybody. <laughs> it's just what we do. Do we, do we vlog a bit? Isn't this your latest thing? You just vlog about all the cars? Oh look, here's some, some dirty old Nissan. Nobody cares about Nissans. Oh, there's a, there's a BMW over there that people might recognize. There's a, a, a dirty BMW here that people might recognize from some burnout factory or something. Nobody cares about BMWs or burnout factories. Wait, come back in a second when the soldering one's actually hot enough. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. It's not hot enough at the moment. <laughs> uh. Well, this has worked out. Have you shown the people all this stuff? Hey, they don't care about this stuff. They do. They said it in the comments. They're like, good job, Scotty, and stuff. I don't see no good job, Chris. Yeah, well, we'll see what they say when there's a bus in their doorstep. <laughs> Only, why is there a big prison bus looking thing out the front of it? <laughs> is it hot enough yet? It looks like an orangutan just got out of it. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, you bastard. I ain't bending down for nobody. Get it. No, stay in there. This is the world's biggest in-tank fuel pump wiring. <laughs> Possibly go wrong. Probably run a starter motor off this shit. <laughs> what is that stuff? You got it. it. It shrinks with the heat. <laughs> what? What should we call it? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. F it. All right, we're going to need a bigger hole. Right. I don't think I've ever said that. You've never said that before in your life? No. <laughs> oh, this is going downhill. Remember how Clint said that we should act more professional? Yeah. yeah. What are we going to do this thing? This thing where we're modifying intake plenums. He Brock sees the significance of red and blue. He's painted his own red and blue. This is a guy who owns a Nissan. Do you really want to argue this? What are you doing, Brock? What are you doing, mate? Is that the same Brock with a 1200 ute? Yeah. He's, he's upgraded from the Datsun ute. And he's actually a pretty good guy. What's the deal? The hole's not big enough. Let's send it. Ordinary send it. it smells like cases. I can see the hole. It just needs a bit of convincing. Buy it a drink, maybe. Mm. Hopefully, I slip in and palm myself on that screw. If anybody can, you can. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> so, this is roughly going to sit like that. Well, we're going to show the use. That should be enough length. Not bad, good size. <laughs> That's what they say, isn't it? It probably needs to be a bit longer, eh? Because I need to assemble it outside of the tank and then shove it in the tank. Yeah. And then weld the actual outside bit onto there while the pump's still in it. <coughs> Without getting everything too hot. Could possibly go wrong. I feel a bit happier. About the wires? Yeah. I've got to sort my length out now. Wait up. About there. Oh, watch the paint. Watch the juco, mate. You're it's a acting like you, condition. You're acting like it's still part of your life. It is. You surrendered it. Kevay's sick. I like Kevay. Alright. Vlogging. We're vlogging. 
Look at this, it's a team effort between my two most favourite things in the world. Fleece tape and Toyota Black. Could possibly go wrong. Look at it go. If you melt a zip tie in there, that, that would be the ultimate force. <laughs> we'll shove a bit of drill bit in there just to seal up a bit of a hole. It's already had drill bit in there. It's already had drill bit in there. <laughs> Look at it go. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that. It's beautiful. It'll only leak for the first, I don't know, 10 seconds of run time. <laughs> then we'll be running out of fuel after that. It'll be fine. Although, the question is, with Kev, eh? Do we put another tail shaft loop on the back? <laughs> So we don't repeat what happened with the ute. It's totally safe though, because there's no fuel tank back there. Right. How's the blue lights? Crap. It's really weird. It's a bit weird. It's not as they're not as bright, but they they're very they're very hard to look at. Mm. I'm not sure if I I like them better. I was also going to make the intercooler pipe this morning, but then, no gas. <laughs> oh well. No gas, Chopper. Here we go for time. No gas. 710 cap. Seven, 710 cap. Well, that's possibly the end of this morning because we've run out of things to do. So I cut the fuel tank open, put a fuel pump in there. It seems to work so far. Did the intercooler pipe over off the turbo. It's not really that pretty, but it's in there. It's Kevin. Chris put three inch T-bolt clamps and so intercooler pipe should stay on this time. I uh, came in earlier and put five newish plugs and one not so new plug, <laughs> which were better than the plugs that were in it. Uh, and in true, organised fashion, we have whatever fuel's in there plus two litres to effectively tune it. Yeah, it should, should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> it's going to use half of it warming up. <laughs> so, warm it up. Yeah. All right. Nice headphones. What are you listening to? I want to hear the moment that Rod comes out. <laughs> Got a bit of, mm -hmm. bit of the old gas. How, ma how many gases have we got? What do you reckon, like under 100 shot, eh? Good chat. Trying to make a video. Trying to tune a car. <laughs> Kevo round two. Just spicing it up a little bit. <laughs> Possibly go wrong. Get a bit of that shit in here, Kevo. Alright, warm it up. Alright, tell me, what's the go what's the goals? The goals, we need to know the goals for the use. What did it make last time? Like 410 or something? 4, four. yeah, I thought it was like 440 before I went to the track, but it was apparently like 4 something. This thing is potentially hurt too, so... We don't know. 
already. Yeah. Something, something maybe, maybe the end of Kevo before it began. <laughs> so that'd be nice if it revved more than that. 417, that's the old one. That's what it used to make before it went to the track and then got wound up a little bit for 1080s. Mm. Okay-ish power. Yeah, well, why does it hang over like that? Just me. I don't know. It just sort of it gets on the converter and then it pulls itself down and then it doesn't get back over it for some reason until it starts revving. Weird, how does that? Well, do you want to throw another bit more fluid in the box? Unless that's just getting on the converter and then it's starting to make power up. Could be. Could be. I don't know. We'll put more boost in it and see if it gets through it. Sounds like a fair plan to me. Just send the bastard. Unless it's just the moo being a moo. This red ball will give you wings. Oh, patch can sorted. Right.
firing at you. Sounded like it was missing and carried on. Holy shit! <laughs> shit, right, eh? Right, fine, send it. Was it misfiring? It sounded, yeah, there, yeah. Sounds like it's breaking down. Unless it's just that one plug. Yeah, or it's got a damaged valve seat. Maybe. It's dead, it doesn't do anything. How, how much boost is it in? A bit. A bit? About 20 pounds. Oh, shit. two-thirds of a tank. It's not that big. Just send it for the move. Get a bit of wide-angle lens here so you can see the rods hit the roof. No, no, we need close-ups of this shit. Just as it started ramping right up, but it sounded heaps cleaner than last time. Is that more boost or time? Is it? No, a bit leaner. Oh. Lean is mean. Kevo likes the scent. It's almost where it was. Do you remember how much boost it was last time with it, the old motor? With that 417 or whatever it made? Probably would have been about 22 or something. Wouldn't it? Was that with gas though? Yeah. It was with a 50 shot as well. Yeah. Well, that's alright. Almost there with no gas. Pretty sure I could hear it this far. Yeah, it was a lot cleaner on that run though. Just turn the gas on and send the, the thing to the moon. I probably should stop saying that. Broke the shit out of stuff last time I said that. This thing cook a lead once before. Can't remember. May have done actually. Should be delightful to get to. Oh, it'd be great. That yeah, those ones would be awesome to touch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <I get> <laughs> What are you doing? Are they hot? Yeah. It's weird. Well, Kevo's still being a dicko. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, dickhead, Kevin. Just some Lido's. Mm. Pretty strong. I'm just sending the boost into that thing, eh? It's not breaking. How many boosts did you have in there? I'm getting up there. What's this one? Stuff. 111. It's this one, is it? Yeah. Four. Which one is it? This one. Yeah. 
It's the shortest lead, so. No problem so far. It's almost like a valve has like ingested some. It's almost like something's gone through it and yeah, yeah. made the engine stop. <laughs> ah, that means head off. Which head, I don't know. Both heads. Both. I'll try that one. Ooh, sorry, never. Jeez, rough. Is it this one here? Can't spray the nozzles when it can't miss, when it can't run through clean. No, wouldn't be ideal, would it? Yeah, it's about right. Ooh, toasty. Oh, ah, oh, ah. <laughs> it's fing hot. Ah, oh, oh, that's hot. Oh, yeah, oh, that's really hot, eh? That's burnt to shit. That's the jigger. It's not looking good for the old Kevo. It's not, not looking ideal. I'd say it's got a bent valve. I reckon you're probably right. Usually they don't go clunk, clunk, stop without a fair reason. At the moment, it's my least favourite thing. Pusher. I'm going to make it not a pusher. It's a shit. You can't well, have it. your wings. <laughs> <laughs> you're a dickhead, Kevin. All right, well, I'm going to put it back together so that it's not a pusher. So it turns out when your engine makes a funny noise when it's idling and then stops, you should probably pull it apart and have a look why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's done, a, it's done valve damage. And so you mean sitting it on limit, it didn't fix it after all? Well, it might have. <laughs> but it's just got something there that's, it's, well, it gets worse when I put more boost in it, which kind of tells me it, it's probably a valve, a bent valve or something. So I'd say there was a nut. That noise was probably something going through the exhaust valve. Yeah. Can we blame Dane for that? Well, I can't be sure, see, because you woke up. We'll just blame him anyway. Dane He's not here to up. defend himself, so he might as well. Good on Dane. Other than that, it's doing something really weird in the middle too, but that could be the valve door. Could be the valve. And it's dead up top. I thought it would have made more power up top. I don't know what the plan is then. Good JZ, isn't it? We've got a barra. Fuck that. Don't hate on it all the time, man. Look how impressive the V6 was. Well, <laughs> up until this point. <laughs> all right, well, on that bombshell, see you next week. Cardboard cut out of Chris. Don't move. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another garage. This week again, you're gonna to have to stomach more Kevin because I have to. Come um, on. no. All right. <laughs> you can't do this. Yet. You're on a GoPro. I don't like the GoPro view. It's weird. It's all fish-eyed and shit. How good about selfie though? Oh, that's, there's nothing good about that selfie, <laughs> mate. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, GoPro are you? I love GoPros. Embrace the change. This is like vlog shit. Embrace the change. A vlog with a vlog. You, you're pretty much an influencer now. No, I'm not. Do you know an influencer section at JB Hi Fi? Is there? Are you in it, are you? Sure. I can be.
Or oh, unless you, you just want me to not be here. Are you in or you're half in or? Oh, I mean, okay. yeah. but I can not be if you just want to be Nugget um, Garage yourself. It's yeah. fine since you booted me the f out already. You can't do things differently because you, you can't go from you can't go. It's easy, man. Oh, what's it gone portrait? What the fuck is happening? That's weird, eh? You know how to operate that thing? Not really. 